Zoanthids and palaethoas, or zoos and pallies as most people call them, are very easy to keep in the home aquarium and actually make great beginner corals. They come in a wide variety of colors, uh, pinks, blues, reds, greens, yellows, and combinations, uh, everything you could think of of those colors. Definitely a great way to color up your reef. They don't require bright lighting like many other corals. They can do very well with uh, lower par levels, anywhere from 100 to say 250 par level does great for most zoanthids. Uh, in terms of chemistry, you want to keep your water stable as with any coral, but they're more tolerant of swings in water chemistry than a lot of coral species. Ideally, you keep your calcium about 420 to 440 parts per million, your alkalinity between 8 and 9, unless you're carbon dosing, in which case I'd keep it between 7 and 8. And then magnesium, you should have between 1260 and 1350. Now, zoanthids are more tolerant of nitrate than many other types of corals, but I still recommend keeping your nitrates below 10 parts per million. And phosphates should stay low as well, below 0 0.10 parts per million. Now, in terms of placement, most zoanthids do well lower down in the tank uh, on an exposed rock near the bottom. They definitely want moderate flow or low flow. I keep most of ours in a moderate flow. You like to see them swaying and moving in the current. As with any corals, changing currents are preferable to constant current. So if you have a controllable powerhead such as the Ecotech MP40 or any of the MP powerheads by Ecotech, uh, Tunzies, anything controllable that'll provide changing currents is very worthwhile for zoanthids. Now, there are a few parasites that affect zoanthids, namely zoanthid eating nudibranchs. They can be very tricky to spot because they actually take on the color of the zoanthid they're eating. So that makes them very tricky to notice. What you can do if you have a zoanthid colony that's not opening is definitely do a dip and revive. Uh, we have a separate video about this, but I would recommend doing a dip and revive using a turkey baster and you will see the nudibranchs blowing off of them. Now another thing to pay attention for is zoanthid spiders. Uh, they hide in between the polyps, so if you get the polyps closed up, you can usually see them and pick them off with tweezers. Also a dip and revive uh, will help you spot them and help get them to detach but you do need to inspect around the polyps individually to make sure there's none in there. So these are main things. If you see zoanthic is not open, you want to dip and you want to inspect for these parasites, but usually it's not too hard to get rid of if you're vigilant about noticing them and acting on it. In terms of feeding, you can definitely feed them a variety of planktons like zooplankton. Uh, some of them can even eat uh, chopped up mice shrimp. Feeding them will definitely help them grow and expand their colonies much faster. But a nice thing about zoanthids is you can start with just one or two polyps and grow a beautiful colony, usually within a year. You can start with a, a single polyp and then you have a colony, say, this size or this size by the end of a year. So what I like to do is place them, say, four or five different colors on a small rock and just let them grow into each other and create a beautiful collage uh, of color for your tank. So definitely a great kind of coral to check out. If you're a beginner, great way to start in the hobby. If you're advanced, well, you know how many colorful morphs there are out there, so you can collect them for a lifetime. And definitely a lot of fun and easy to keep. On one side note, I must mention that all zoanthids do have uh, palytoxins in them. So personally, I recommend wearing gloves or protecting your eyes, especially if you are fragging them. Uh, if you get uh, zoanthid juice in your eye, you can turn it red. Uh, it can be a very bad thing. So definitely protect your eyes and hands when you use them and wash your hands when you're done handling any zoanthids. But they are easy to keep, so definitely a good coral to take care of.